Welcome to the fifth tutorial in the Robot Studio Getting Started series. In this tutorial, we will open the project from our previous tutorial. We will synchronize our created path to Rapid. Then we will visualize our module in Rapid. We will set the simulation entry point and play the simulation. Finally, we will create our main path and save our project. Let's get started. Open the project from the file tab. Once the controller status is shown green, we know that our controller is up and running. Now we will synchronize our created path to Rapid. Rapid is a high-level programming language used to control ABB industrial robots. From the Home tab, click on Synchronize. Then select Synchronize to Rapid. This transfers all the paths and targets in the station to the Rapid code. We can either use this feature from the Home tab, or we can right-click on TROB1 and select to synchronize to Rapid. From the Synchronize to Rapid window, user can select what should be synchronized from the station to the Rapid code. After the synchronization, our targets and path are transferred to the Rapid code. We can click on the Rapid tab, then click on TROB1. We can see Module 1, under which we can see the main path and our path 10. Clicking on it will display the Rapid code for our path 10. Initially we used Move Along Path feature for simulation. Now we will use the Play button from the Simulation tab. To do that, Right-click on your path from the Home tab and set it as the Simulation Entry Point. From the Simulation tab, click on the Play button, which will run the simulation. Now let's add our Path 10 to the main procedure in our Rapid code. Click on the Rapid tab, under Rapid, Click on TROB1 and double-click to open the Module 1. Under the main procedure, add Path 10. Robot Studio provides context-sensitive help to the user. Click to apply these changes. Remember, the main procedure is just the starting point of your robot program. From there, you can call other procedures and functions as needed to control your robot's actions. We can click on the program pointer and set program pointer to main in all tasks. We can see the program pointer in front of path 10 under the main procedure. The program pointer is a feature that indicates the current position or line of execution in the robot program. Now let's run our rapid code and visualize our robot in action simultaneously. To do that right-click on the project view, we have the option to align the view in a horizontal or vertical tab group. Let's select vertical tab group. Then we can click on start to start the rapid execution. We can now visualize both the rapid execution and our robot in the 3D graphics window. In the Rapid Editor window, we can see both the Program Pointer and the Robot Pointer. The Robot Pointer is a feature that indicates the current physical position of the robot in the workspace. The Robot Pointer can be useful in debugging and optimizing your robot program. For example, you can visualize the robot position after a Category 0 and 1 stop, and measure the distance between the robot at its stop position and the environment. Let's conclude this tutorial, by saving our project. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.